Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Biblical Britain Uncoded. Uh, firstly, I want to apologise. It's been a, uh, kind of away for, a, uh, I don't know, best part of three weeks, probably. Um, had a mass amount of some complicated... Well, it's, it's not that complicated, but complicated enough. Uh, not so much uncoding. The uncoding part of it is pretty easy. The putting it together in a format that's, that people are going to understand is, is another story. Um, and that, that really is the difficult bit and 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 wear me out this you know this also, that's what this does wear me out and I, I you know I felt quite tired so I anyway I've kicked myself up into gear got it all together and boy is it is I've got something incredible for you absolutely incredible and the work well the one thing the sort of final thing that I'm going to show is absolutely mind-blowing um, little did I know I've been carrying this the sort of code or the fine sort of final part of the code with me since I was born um, without even realizing it but then obviously I wouldn't but now it's been revealed to me okay for anybody new this is going to be complex well like I said you'll, they, they, you'll see code within this anyway no matter what um, but to get a full grip of this you, you need to sort of follow, go back through other videos and come forward and because it's not just the code on the video it's how these these videos and all this code connect so tightly and so impossibly that makes it kind of special now effectively i don't know what you call it channeling or something along those lines but for some unknown reason to me and i still ask myself the question every day why me I've been kind of chosen for to show you what is written in creation. Yah, the creator, is Yahweh, that's his name. Um, the god of the Siluris, not the Israelites. Um, uh, uh, but again, like I say, to explain everything, it would take me all day. Now, I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit because I found something absolutely, well, I say found it. Again, these things just come to me in a flash. It's all done through consciousness. Yeah, it doesn't speak to me, tell me to go and tell you that there's going to be this and that and something else is going to happen. And and as you know, from the last video, we're talking of an evacuation of Earth, basically. Um, a, a ship coming down and, and boy, have I got a lot to add, to, to, you know, just to stiffen this code up even more in the most phenomenal way and answer some questions, um, even revealing the great deception that is to come. And quite sickening it is, really, but we'll get to that. Okay, right, without further ado, I'm going to break to the code. Okay, as you know, in the past, I've uncoded the Giza Pyramid. This is so important because, obviously, the Pyramids of Giza, right, we know it is modern-day Egypt. Firstly, I want to say that is not Egypt. This is not Biblical Egypt. Biblical Egypt is Cornwall. I've sort of broken that down in, in so many ways. This code reveals all of it, that, that Britain is, in fact, the Biblical Holy Land, Cornwall being Egypt, Wales being Judah and uh, England being Canaan, or what was Canaan. Um, obviously, before sort of, well, every before the Sayuri basically it messed up, the door was shut on them, the lock put on the temple, literally, um, and, and, and you, you know, and obviously then, well, man's been left to his own devices, and we're in the mess we're in now, um, and, and what is coming, is going to put put this mess right basically right okay just to show you uh, when Yah says i'll show you things in ancient times i've mentioned it before he says that, so when they come to happen you know i did it and there is no other no i am your he says god but i, I don't like that word i'm i'm unsure of it i i, I just say so i am your creator um and savior there is no other no jesus no you know and, and people might be offended but you're going to see something that is going to blow your mind in a little while or it should do okay so let's start off with the giza pyramid code because there's something else in this that i even though it's obvious now at the time i didn't see it right giza pyramid is an anagram of ag is your map id obviously i've underlined the yr because this is the the amazing code that comes from it okay now he says i'll show you things in ancient times because this also ties with these i don't even know how you pronounce this Tetiu Can pyramid in mexico 
which is a pyramid of the sun, which is Sol, and the moon, of, uh, there's one pyramid of the sun and one pyramid of the moon. They're the two main ones in the, in the complex. Okay, but really Sol and moon, it gives you Solomon, so you know it relates to Solomon's code. And as you can see, I've drawn the pillars because these, this, this ties directly with this code here. Right, firstly, a G is your map ID. Well, my map ID is Gumry, where I live. Gumry is the Welsh word for Wales. Anyone that doesn't know, it's been softened to Cymru. But when you enter Wales, it actually says Croesio e Gumry, which is welcome to Wales. OK, um, they seem to be intent on getting rid of the Gs or making them very low key. I know why, because the G is the key. Or sorry, well, that's the lock that you use the key to, to basically of Solomon to, to break. OK, well, Gumry's an anagram of Mr. Guy, which is me, unbelievably. I know that the same is crazy, but it is. Right, OK. Now, the next part of the uh, tattoo, whatever it is, pyramid, says, when you unscrubble this, it says, can you tie your, with this YR again, map ID to a H? OK, for anybody who's been following this, you'll know that we've got the G and the H. Is G is the lock for Jerusalem. Mel is the decoded Mel H me being the secret H-man of the clan Melvin. Melvin being my father, my name being Marco at Melvin, my grandfather was Melvin as well. So literally, it, it, it literally is the clan Melvin. Okay, you've also got this, the seven stars is the Pleiades, that's an anagram, please ID. Crescent moon is an anagram of secret C on Mon. Well, this te the temple in question and the, and the fort, the real Jerusalem and the temple of Solomon, are actually in in um, in Monmouthshire, South Wales, Mon, um, and and this is the whole secret and ev and what's been hidden and everything else has been that's been literally created is a lie. Uh, all religion is a lie. If you, if any religion tells you that Jerusalem is spelt with a J, then there's been a, then you can guarantee that it's all been amended and it all like has been switched over the Middle East these places. I th and I'm sure that the, the, the Giza pyramids are called Giza because I think believe that that land in ancient times was probably called either Giza or Gaza. And what they've done is they've effectively, some, somewhere along the way, it's been switched now and it's been called Egypt. So the pyramids are now assumed to be Egyptian when they're actually not. They're actually, it's some sort of Welsh colony. I know that sounds crazy, but if you go back over there, it, it actually, the big map identifies the, current, current, the, the pyramids as being Welsh, or built by the Welsh, early Welsh, but, but by the Welsh. And I think this is the Cassie tribe as well, um, which would be the tribe of Newport, which is very, very central to this whole thing, the place of Newport. And when I tie up the map drawings and show you what it means, it, it should blow your mind. OK, so a G is your map ID, so we've got Gumry, Mr. Guy. Right, now the names of the pyramids, right, this is this is now being called Khufu, but it, it also says sometimes known as Cheops. Again, this is just hiding things. Its real name is Cheops. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Then you've got Menkewa, or what, Men, Menkewa and Kafri. OK, again, this is a coded anagram in English. It says, Marco, you keep Ankh, freeze H. Well, the Ankh is the key the laid out on the first part of the map is a, get, I, I don't want to get into that because but it opens up Egypt effectively right but it's this freeze H part that I want to look at and even though obviously it's an easy way of coding it because it gets the message across a G is your map ID right you've got you've got YR so what we're going to do is we're just going to add to the G Y R. OK, and then what we're going to do is go to the mark you keep ank, freeze H. Well, just so you know as well, if you follow where the key for Lamellin and you follow where it points to and keep going, it will land directly on the Great Pyramid of Giza, unbelievably, and follows through and goes to, I don't know where he looks like, the Sphinx, whatever it is, and it lands directly in the pause. But amazingly, it goes through Corsham, which is just up the road from where I am now, because I'm in East Lays Corsham. Yes, Atlas Marco's H. But Corsham is Marco's H, OK? So the first thing you do to free it is you identify Corsham. With a slight adjustment of the key, it even, and I mean it is minute adjustment, and it points through the end of the key still. You know, I'm over-exaggerating it here, but it comes and hits directly where I'm working now. This ties to the Vatican key as well. Okay, right. 
with that in mind, so obviously this is all this is all connected together. This key of Solomon and the um, the key of Solomon and and, and, the, and, the, and the pyramids for some unknown reason I don't know. All part of the great map tricks. Just put the P in the matrix, you get the map tricks. I've already showed how you do how you break that thing. But right, so Marco, you you, you keep Ant free H. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got well the G is your map ID, so we've got the G. We've got the YR, and now I'm going to free the H, I free the H, but I add it here. Okay. So, how does this connect to this? Well, what this is, let me just put it in, in a different order. So, you've got your Y, R, G, and your H. Okay. This is also the same with this, because it says, can you tie your map ID, so my map ID is a G, to a H, so it's a G, a H, a Y and an R. Same thing again. So it, what you've got is Y, R, G, H. Well, the R, G, H is the Royal Arch in Cancer. This is, this is a star map, basically. These are the two forts. This is the Cancer constellation that goes onto the star map. Again, I don't want to break it completely down, but what you've got is the R, G, H. So the Royal Arch in Cancer, or the Royal Entry Point in Cancer, is the Royal Gwent Hospital where I was born. The pillars are called Yachin and Boaz as well. Um, yeah, right, they've changed it to Yachin. Right, if I use Yachin Boaz, it says, see a boy as in it. Right, let me just do this, Yachin this is what the Masons have done. They've got this as a as a as a, uh, a J, but it's no J. It should be a Y. No doubt about that. It's Joseph. You 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 know the Jews have got that much right that they change everything. You know they they always don't assume it's a J. They assume it's a Y, and they're correct in that much, even though they're massively deceived in other ways. Right. So this says, see a boy is in H. It says, see a boy. I wasn't going to do this, but as in H. Well, the H, as I showed on the last one, basically it's Fort Lambert, and you add VID, which is your King David code, and what it gives you, um, what, it, uh, what it gives you is a Clan Melvin, basically, and the H and the H man. That's what it, what it comes down to. Me being the secret H man. Easiest way of working that is Marco's H, because you've got obviously caution with the key points too, but there's also a great big spear and everything else fully coded that also confirms everything as well on the Atlas matrix. So see a boy as in H. Okay, what it really should be is it's either it's either I remember this from being a kid. My mum used to dad used to go to Sunday Sunday school and what have you. And I always remember it, it stuck with me. It was Yoachin Boaz. Which, which again, you could change his name to Yachim, but it's O, C, him, as, uh, A, B, O, Y. O, C, him as a boy. Well, why does it say O, C, him as a boy? Because my registered address at birth was, was literally 15 foot from the lock on the temple. On the temple... There's a pic, there's literally a stone, it's, it's done in the stone lock. This is, this is with the Ark of the Covenant, is it also buried underneath, as I've shown in previous videos. Okay, so Oxium was a boy. Well, as a boy, I was in my crib in there, and that's, that's where I was born. But I was also taken to the Royal Gwent Hospital. This is why you get the RGH. Why RGH? Okay. Like I say, this is, this is broken down from the two lots of the ancient pyramids, Giza and Tetuacan. Well, why, firstly, oh, oh, hang on, let's just do that again. What you've got, there is your Y, basically. So these are map coordinates for, this will be Swindon, this is Exeter, this is Holyhead. Okay. And the trick is knowing that this is Canaan, K, this is uh, 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 Egypt, E, and this is Yuda, which is Wales, but what you have is a K E Y, it's a key, but you also have Seek and then H E S, he's, and then it's all in this is all in the land of Gumry. These are your two forts. This is your you've got your it's the, the Arch of Cancer, which is your R, 
there's your G, and there's your H. Okay, so so what the, the, this really is a star is literally this is code for this very same star map that you lay out, which eventually, when the moon comes to full, highlights the safe zone. And now, what appears well, it is clearly an evacuation, as I'm about to show you some most the most amazing things. The secret C on one is simply so when you add a C to King Solomon's temple, you uns unscrabble it as I've done. You just anagram it all down. And it says, um, so locking in Mon's temple. The same applies for the key, so locking in Mon's key. Okay, I just wanted to just break that one down to show you that this star map is also encoded, not only in Giza, but whatever it is in Mexico, these pyramid complex. Um, and and it, it literally gives you the same thing, but my name is encoded, and, and I know, well, as the hardest part of doing this code, and the hardest, really, the hardest part has been coming, just putting my name into this. Because going back, as you'll see from my videos, I fall apart. I really didn't want to do it. And, I, and it didn't, at the time, I didn't know what to believe. I was being led bit by bit, and I'm finding my name everywhere. Now I've come to see why. And, and like I say, the final code I'm going to show you on this should absolutely blow your mind. But, um... Which, which, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But I just want to leave it there on this one because I've got a lot to go through. Just bear with me two seconds, folks. Okay, folks, right. Argus Navis, the ship. This is a constellation, an ancient constellation that was broken into four different constellations. Jerus the Crane, which is why, why you get Jerusalem. This is where the name Jerusalem comes from. And it is, this, you know, um, 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 well, among a ton of other reasons. But Jerusalem, the G, G roost the crane, okay? I think the crane has its feet in Eden as well, in the river Neden, which is nearby, which is the river that uncodes or helps to uncode Eden by a, a mound in the shape of literally an apple, which I'll show you on the map shortly. Okay, then you've got Karina the keel, Vela the sails, and Pupis the poop deck. A rather strange name. I actually thought this was somebody who had changed this, which they may well have done, but... Either way, it comes out with the most phenomenal anagrammed message. Right, first one I want to show you is this, because this is phenomenal, because it tells you, right, this is, at this point in time, it's called the Argo Navis. This is this Ptolemy or somebody changed this, but everything has been changed. If you look and read the, the small print, again, it says that the Argus is the, the gener 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 generative term taking something to do with taking possession of. Well, if anything, I'm taking possession of the ship. But it's, it's called the Argus Navis. I know this because on Solomon's Seal, you also have, in the reflection, you have, a, you have the paper, the origami paper ship, effectively, in the reflection of the river. Again, I, I won't have time to explain it all, but it's effectively a newspaper ship. The local newspaper for Monmouthshire and, and Wales, or, or South Wales, is, in fact, the South Wales Argus which is also an anagram of A.G. Roos. And then you've got G. Roos the Crane, so on. Right, now, the first thing I can, I'll show you, I'll leave those there, you can check this next message yourself, but it's phenomenal because it actually is showing this being a, a kind of predictive matrix, well, it's predicted everything. It's like the divine plan all laid out, it even knows when I'm gonna un unscrabble something because the following week then I get the confirmation, as you will see, uh, when I show you, but for now we got we got basically the the ship, okay. Now here's the clever bit. The ship saving a roost. Well, saving a roost what? Well, we know it's a remnant. It's probably a remnant ship for whatever that... I'm not sure the exact meaning. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. Is it a remnant or remnant? I think it's an E in there. But, but what you've got is the ship saving a roost a remnant. All you, all you have to do is fill in the blank on the end. And, and then you, and it tells you, it even tells you its job. This is the EVAC ship. That I know it seems bizarre and I wouldn't have believed it myself. And it's still not really... You know, it's a little out of my comfort zone because... One thing in decoding tribes and everything else, the one thing I didn't foresee was that I'd be sort of telling everybody there's going to be an evacuation of Earth because you'd sound like a complete lunatic and I wouldn't expect anyone to believe me if I was just saying this type of thing. You know, 
it'd be impossible to get this message out and get anybody to take it serious. But the fact that this whole message is given to me, not uh, it's given me to go to places or go to things, and I find them in the space of three weeks. You'll see what I've just uh, what I've uncut, what, what what's come to me. And it's not I'm searching for this twenty four seven. I just get the hint in my head, and bang, I go there, and there is the code. And every time, without fail, it, it fits like a glove. Okay, right, I'm just going to hold you there because I'll, what I'm going to do now, so what we've got is the answer now is the ship. So is the ship saving a ruse? The answer is a remnant. You just fill that in. But this is an anagram of another message which ties up, the, which, well, which well, you'll see now, it's absolutely incredible. Bear with me a second. Okay, folks, right, the message in the, 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 the G Roost, the crane, the four constellations that make up the Argus Navis. Right, you have to weigh up the chances of all this being coincidence, okay? Ignore this part for now because this is just to show you what it, this means. Okay, it says, seen L code line, right? Argus Ark ship picks up the people that evac Earth, okay? Now, when I decoded the, if you remember the, um, Oh, this, this, this symbol on the um, oh, what's it called? You know, on the Masonic buildings, basically. I forget which order they go. But you've got M E L N I or something along them lines. But but basically, it's C Melin, and then you've got this Z. You've got the G in the middle, and the and the H. And what it does, it constructs this basically. Which I don't know whether it's a tail. It could even be like a phoenix. I'm not too sure. But this is the this is the code for written in David, at V-I-D, so King David, who would have ruled from, actually from, this fort, which is the key fort, Clan Melin. But, you use this C to go over, to overlay the L. Now, this is the L, C and L code line, because what I did, I actually encoded this before, but I ended it with a Z, I just thought it was, like, that was the end of it, but it wasn't. And what you do is that where you've used this C to overlay onto Clan Melin, which is the name of the fort, you literally take the L and you drop it in there. And then what you have is uh, I saw you the angel, C Andrew Genesis, C L Z, the landing zone. So what this has done, a week later after, and bear in mind, the, this constellation and these words have been there since whenever, since Jack created the earth and the stars. And he give them names. And he sure did give them names because they're all coded in this mate in this fantastic matrix or matrix. Um, so obviously you've got, well, it, and Clan Melvin is my family, you know, again, it's, uh, Clan Melvin is my grandfather Melvin, that Robert guy, my father Melvin, jo, uh, Melvin, at Melvin guy, and me being Marco at Melvin. This is the Clan Melvin, and the Mel being the elm tree. So it's the family tree, well, it's the I divine family tree, or the divine family tree. I don't know how, why, or... or Oh, but I find myself in the middle of all this, and this is exactly what I get shown to show you. So, uh, way up the chances. So, the ship saving in Rus. Rus is obviously G Rus, which is Rus Jerusalem. The Rus remnant, in other words, the, those that make it up there. Uh, the Argus Ark ship picks up the people that evac Earth. That is it. And then, what are the chances? Not only does it give me the coordinates to literally make a ship. Full of messages as well, which I'll show you in a second, because that comes into play even more so in a, in a bit, um, in the most phenomenal way. But the, the, that basically is the message written in the stars that has been there since whenever, um, all heading to where we, you know, we're, we're on for a regenesis. This is a restart, folks. And this is the earth being destroyed. And, the, and, the, and those that will take heed and do what <laughs> is written in one of the codes coming up, or one of the, the main things to do. Um, I'll get into that as we go. But anyway, without further ado, let me just move on to that uh, very thing. Okay, folks, right. Firstly, right, we're going to go off track a little bit here, or it will appear to go off track. But when you see how this all pieces together, it will blow. it should blow your mind. It certainly blew mine. Right, the first thing to note is Ark of the Covenant is OC No, it, it is an anagram, or one of the anagrams, because there's, there's many of these, see on Venter as well, is, um, oh, anyway, OC Noah event craft. Right, well, I saw the, I saw the one event craft, I'm going to show you those on the map in a second. Um, basically, there's a fully coded ship, literally a ship, picture of a ship, made up 
that with all the coordinates, like Karina the keel is a car in a keel, the car in the keel, because the keel is made up of the M4 motorway as one example. And then it all pieces together, all fully messaged from top, every part of it is, is absolutely incredible. Identifying Eden as well in part of it. And, right, but again, without going into it, I'm afraid you're gonna have to go back through videos, but it's well worth the, well worth the look. Because when you see all this put together, you realize how impossible this code truly is. And there's only one person that could have created this and it is the, the, the what goes on up there is not what we're, we're, we're given to believe. I, I believe this beyond this, world that space i think the whole thing with what we know as space is is an absolute is an illusion there's something that it says there's there's effectively some sort of dome over us water above it and then there's a there's a, some kind of world that we can't even comprehend and i think this is where maybe where new eden is i, I mean i don't know whether yah's going to recreate the earth or something and take us off or whatever but one way or another, there's an evacuation and it's going to be taken. Those that make it are going to go to New Eden. Okay. OC no event craft. Well, I thought I'd seen it because there was, but there's actually two, two event crafts in the map. Um, as you'll see, and, and this creates an entirely in, mind blowing code. Right. Okay. So first thing I need to do, and this will make sense now. Okay. Right, there's a river, the river's code. Basically, what you get is this downward triangle. If you join, uh, you've also, well, firstly, you've got the RGH is where, where it connects. You draw a line from the RGH, it goes across to the river Y. Okay, this crosses on the river Usk, just outside the RGH. Draw it down, and what you get is this downward divine triangle. This is the river Avon. So all you do is you put the coordinate, you put the, 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 the points onto those, and what you have is this downward triangle. And now this is right. Firstly, why ask even seven? When you are an anagram it, there's two codes in it. First one says you saw V on key seen RV. Well the RV is the rendezvous, it's also my caravan being an RV. More to come on that. Um, okay, you saw V on key. Well the V on key. Clan Melin, or the Fort, Fort Clan Melin, which, is, which decodes as Clan Melvin, when you drop the L, you put the C in and you get the clan, then you do the Dave, you get your King David code, which is, uh, without going into it too much, but it's add V, I, D. So you add V and you ID the Clan Melvin. Right, so the V on the key, the first one, the V on the key for name, you put the V in it and you get Melvin, and then you obviously know it's Clan Melvin. So the Clan Melvin, and then, like I said, the rendezvous. Right, the second amazing code in it is um, saw V, use Vernon Key. Right, well, here's the amazing part, because not only was my father's name Melvin, my mother's maiden name was Vernon. Now, <laughs> unbelievable. And when you put them both on the key, you get the tau, not only do you get the tau, which is a completion code, uh, which is why you get tau Taurus, is tau Taurus is complete Rus, but without going into that, because that's another angle again, like I say, you go round in circles on this code, it's so phenomenal. But what you get is Melvin and Vernon. It makes a town, but it also makes the tree. The tree, the secret of the tree is the, is, is the elm. It's the Mel tree, which is elm. It's the elm family tree. And what I am is the vine that connects Melvin and Vernon. Um, if, you, if you reverse Jerusalem backwards, you get Mel... A Sir G. Well, when you fill in the blanks, you get Melvin A surname G. Well, I, and again, it's complicated because you've got to go into Taurus to complete it. And you get the name Marco at Mel Melvin. But the the added letters to the um, Melvin A surname G, so Vin and name, make Vine Man. So the Vine Man is the one that connects Melvin and Vernon, that's my mother and father, which is probably the matter and patter part of, of Solomon Code as well. But what you have is this Divine Triangle down. So what this gives you is the Divine Mother. Right, now this is where, and, and like I say, this is going to blow you, or should blow your mind. Right, okay. Now this is where it gets crazy. In this triangle, what you have is this. In fact, let me show you on the map before I go any further. Bear with me two seconds, guys and girls. Seeing is believing. OK. 
Okay, bear with me a second. For, right. As you can see, right, by drawing this triangle, right, this is so important because in the next, right, there's a message in this that is absolutely phenomenal. Now, this is the, uh, this is the River Usk. This is the, literally the Royal Gwent, let me just show you. This is the entrance to the Royal Gwent Hospital where I was born. Okay, this is where it connect. This is where you, you go across from the river us to the river. The, the mouth, of, the mouth of the river Y. Then you go down to the third part of the divine downward ID mother. This is the the ID the divine mother basically. So this is the downward triangle. The downward triangle always represents the feminine. Okay, this gets so much more, better. Right, I know this is going to sound absolutely bonkers, but this is actually a spaceship, okay? It's a triangle UFO, and I, I, and, and, and I know you're going to say, or think at this point, yeah, it could be, it, it does look like one, because what you've got is this triangular shape, you've got this, this tail fin, a sort of shark, well, shark, well, shark fin, it's probably a Welsh shark as well, um, a Welsh shark fin, but the places, so what we've got, we've got the name of the three rivers gives you the code. Okay, but, the, but within this, the three, right, the places this crosses, it goes, uh, I don't know which is better to show you, probably this map, let's have a look. Right, you go through Caldecott, this cuts directly through Caldecott. It avoids, it goes, it misses all the others. The exact place it goes through as well is Clanvy Angle Rogget. So you've got Clanvy Angle Rogget, Caldecott, Mega, Undy, and Whitson. Okay, well this comes, this is a message that will identify this indeed as a UFO. Okay, believe it or not, or the EVAC ship, this is a representation of the Argus Navis. Okay, now the clever part is, and I'm hoping it's not, and it isn't there. Right, bear with me folks, because I just need to redraw this one, just quickly. Right, let's try that again. Okay, right. This is not the, the best. I mean, I've just quickly rattled this up, to be honest. But literally, you can see that you've got the rudder of this little road. This is actually a road. This is your keel. Karina keel is a car in a keel. If you follow this line, it goes all the way to the entrance of the, again, to the Royal Gwent Hospital, because this is quite important. Well, no, it's massively important. Oh, hang on. Let me just show this across a bit. Uh, as you can see, this line goes through. So it gives you like a blueprint, basically, to draw the ship. All these lines, this line identifies Adam and Eve and the apple on the wall. Um, just so you know, this is the apple on the wall. This, this is the, oh, let me just get you across. As you can see, there's a big juicy apple, which is going to become apparent later in, in this code. Um, uh, the apple of Eden, uh, representing, I'm afraid, is Christianity and Jesus. Um, as you'll see, um, because it, it's actually connected to cancer and the crab apple. Okay, now this ship locks in where the Ark of the Covenant is under, the, the real Ark of the Covenant. This is the lock on the temple. Um, as you can see, this lines up with a key. This is not the best picture of the key, but this is, this is the modern day key. It's actually a broken key, but there's a place called Kenny's Commander that says, Marco, mends my key, mends me key. Again, I, I could go in, go, go round in circles all day, but the, the point is, if you look where this, this, this arc ship is, this, this, well, it's the Divine Mother, and then what you have is the ship. So it's the Divine Mother ship. This is the rendezvous, the RV. This is, uh, then you've got the LZ key as well. So it's uh, literally, you've got the, the, the whole thing encoded. Now, what we need to do, just to make it so it's, 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 so we know that this is not just made up, because what you need to do to get on this ship, if you're a Christian particularly, uh, this is going to reveal so much, um, this is written into this code, okay? Um, along, along with literally, well, but you'll see now, okay? Just bear with me, and I'll just write down the place names, and then we'll go through the code. Right, let me just adjust you up a bit, folks. The camera froze while we were. Uh, uh, let's get. Bear with me. I can only do this while I'm recording. There we go. Right, lovely. Okay, so 
Again, so far we've got Ark of the Covenant, O.C. No Revent Craft, Divine Mothership. We know there's a No Revent coming. There, there is no doubt about that. I've already decoded that. I mean, there's a war first, then an evac, and then, then I'm afraid the fire comes, which is the planet Nibiru or Herpiclosis or something is called. I don't know, but it, 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 it's basically X is also 10, and the 10th tribe being Reuben is also an anagram of the Babylonian word Nibiru. The spell when you when you check in it was the Babylonian way of spelling it was was N E B E R U, which is an anagram of Reuben, who happened to be the tenth tribe that became Rome, and that's why you get an X as well. It's the sort of the the the, 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 the you know the the you got the six six six, we got the seven, the eight, the nine nine nine, and then you got the X is the ten. The the nine 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 being the evac before the X comes along. Right, more to come on that anyway. Right, for now, right, we need to prove that that, that ship, that is in fact Yah's way of showing you a triangular, a giant triangular UFO, which would be the Argus Navis. Again, uh, Argus Navis, the ship saving a Rus and then a remnant. Okay. Right, Caldecott, right, all the, the points, the, the exact points across is, right, these are pinpoint places. This is, so you've got your, your, your triangle like this. Now, the hospital will become relevant as well, because that is so coded, it's untrue. How this all connects together is absolutely crazy. Okay, so you've got your Usk, your Y, and your Avon, which gives you your Divine Mother. Obviously, you've got the ship in there to give you your Divine Mother ship. Right, this very poor version. Right, that is effectively what you've got. So, this is Mega, this is uh, Undy, this is... Whitson, this would, the round here would be Caldecott, and this would be Triangle Rocket. They're the places it crosses, this line crosses. So they're the places you use to get the code. Well, Caldecott, and you can do this yourself. All it is is a symbol, you just cross it, the I, then you've got the, the I don't know, C, O, D, uh, E, and, and so on and so forth. But what this says is I code RGH Angel Tail Fin. Well, there's your RGH. This is, the angel. this is obviously what he's referring to as the angel ship, the angel tail fin. Um, but obviously, to get on to it, the fin, right, Jesus is a complete and utter lie. And, I, I, and I'm about to show you something that's going to, well, again, it'll blow your mind. It blew mine, but threw me into a tailspin literally a bit. But what he says is, I code RGH angel tail fin. So there's, there it is. And it says, call, and in that tail fin, it, it says, call to ungod Mary with son. Because G, this Jesus, this whole deception of Jesus being the saviour, there is, and this is, well, this is quite sick actually, the plan that they've, what they've done, which, I, which I'm going to reveal in the most bizarre, well, crazy way and show you the great deception that is coming. Okay, but the chat, you, again, you have to work out the chances of all this, a picture of there, a picture of a ship, so you get the Divine Mothership, you get the RV, you get the key to unlock the landing zone, which is the, where the key, the, roughly where the key is. Um, and, and in that, it even tells you what you need to do. You, but basically, he says, I am your saviour, there is no other. And Yah does not go back on his word. You know, just to make a point of it, he says, it, it, he, he does something to, well, he says Israel, but it's, it's not Israel, it's his rule. Siluri H. And he does, he, does, he said he regrets what he did to Siluri H. And I, I know what he's getting at. But either way, regardless, but the point is, and he's making a point that he doesn't go back on his word. So even though he regretted it, it still happened to, Sol to Israel, if you want to biblically call it. Um, what happened happened because he already spoke it. He spoke it in anger and, and laid out this whole plan and, and everything else. But the point is, when he said, I am your saviour, there is no other, he didn't change his mind and, and then decide to send Jesus. And the thing is, I'm not the saviour or anything like that. All I'm doing, I'm literally the messenger. Well, I'm going by the thing, I'm the angel. An angel in, in itself is a messenger. And I'm an Atlas messenger, which is a last, a last messenger. Using map tricks, which is your matrix with the broken P in it, when you break the matrix... Again, I don't want to go into all that. It's in the last video. Um, but but basically, like I say, he doesn't go back on it. And, and his, this is his arm of salvation, is to get the people that are willing to play ball. I mean, the ones that are going to get there are going to have to agree to ungod Mary with son, literally. And 
So he, he says, um, and he, he, call, he says, your oils of wood, stone, gold and silver, um, that cannot see speak here. Now you have to ask yourself, what idol or what, what, what does that represent? Well, it's a graven image for a start. So graven is an image of a grave. So it's something dead basically. And obviously a lot of graves you put on a cross. Then you've got cannot breathe, see or speak or hear. Well, it, that has to be a person on the on on the, the, the on, you know on the image, and that per, what he's referring to is Jesus because he didn't die on the cross for anybody's sins. It's an absolute lie. Um, but they've gonna they're gonna turn this around. But I've got something that's gonna show you uh, show you that Yah's in control of this code from start to finish. Let me tell you, and, and he's he's came to, sort of counteracting everything they put in. Um, and they don't even, uh, well, I guarantee they don't even know it's there, like this, for example. Right, there's more to come on this, though. Bear with me a second. Okay, folks, right. Okay, why, uh, right, RGH Hospital Newport, the Royal, this is the Royal Arch in Cancer. Obviously, it's all encoded into the safe zone coordinates. But, right, there's so much more to this than actually meets the eye. Right. Let me just put that there and because on the end with the divine mothership you also have the point of the evac you also have and you have eden okay this is all decoded part of this map right why why this right this links with this constellation and i'll show you now when i write them up well it's three constellations this is Cassiopeia, the mother of a Cassiopeia, mother of Andromeda, Andromeda, daughter of Cepheus, and Cepheus, king of Ethiopia. Now, those three constellations make the most phenomenal message. Now, the reason it connects is because you've got this Cass, and you've got the Cass, and is Cass. Now, the Cassie of the tribe of Isaac reversed and spelt with a double S, they change it to an A, but it's all to do with. Um, the tribe, well, and the tribe, the, 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 the lost tribe of Issachar, if I spell it right and I can do this, remember it correctly. This is the fifth tribe as well, which is the V as well. V is five in Roman numerals. So the fifth tribe, which is all to do with the V, it also says, um, is as A R C H, arch. Okay, is as arch. So the arch is the royal R G H. So the tribe of Cass the, and, and and the long lost the, the, the lost tribe of the of Isca are actually the Cass the Cassi that nobody seems to know anything about. But they're one of the most important tribes in history. Is the I think they're one of the earliest tribes. In fact, I'm going to put I put my neck out and say they were the ones responsible for the the original pyramids of Egypt and the building of them. But we're getting into that. Right, from there, let's just, let's just, so, let, we, right, you can see how this all comes together. Right, now, this connects with the message that starts with Cassiopeia, the mother Andromeda, but what it says is, I'll do this so you can see it. When I spot portal, okay, this is an incomplete message because I got this and I thought that's odd because it just doesn't. Obviously, the portal in well, it, as crazy as it is, the royal entry point because going by the code, I was an archangel and I agreed to come and do this. I was sent to do it. It's all encoded in um, in the great the great the side the US side the you know the the end reaper type thing. Oh, the Sacramento. But there's a message in there that basically says I'm an archangel and I was sent to do a job, basically, and, and, and makes the point of sending me, not fallen. But obviously I came in through a portal. The, the, the portal is the royal arch in Cancer, the royal entryway into this world where I was born. Sent from the temple where I'm registered at birth, obviously in the womb of the Matrix, because that, that was it's what's biblically it mentioned the womb. Nobody could work it out. Well, it's because I was in my mother's womb, 15 foot from the lock on the temple. Okay, so when I spot, spot portal, right, okay, so that's the first part, of that, that's the Newport Hospital bit. 
Now you've got the cast new if. Right. To break this, right, right, first thing I'm gonna say, right, first thing I'm gonna do, a double D in Welsh is a TH. And this is how you break this code. So all I'm gonna do is switch it to its, to its, to its English double D, or the Welsh version, the English version of the double D. Now when I break this down, I take the cast and I put it here. So we've got a Cassivac, which is an emergency evacuation. It's a hospital evacuation, on a, obviously on a hospital ship. That's why this whole thing, and why Melon is the H, because, you know, it's the RGH of the Royal Gwent Hospital. Now, the Cassivac, and then what you've got is thy new. Now, I'm not sure if it's thy new Jerusalem. Obviously, it's because we're coming... Well, we're obviously going off planet to come back. I'm not sure if it's to Jerusalem or to thy New Eden. But it, it, it's basically, so you've got the Divine Mothership saving a Roos Revenant, a Cassivac, and then it's on thy New Jerusalem. Well, I don't know whether it's to or from. I'm not too, well, it's thy New. So it must be thy New Eden. So it's the, it's the old Eden, the original Eden, and Jerusalem, which is built on Eden. The Cassivac off, and obviously... Right, but, but again, like I say, obviously this is incomplete. So if we take, we're going to take this and then I'm going to show you the, 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 the coded message in the stars. Okay, just before I give you the message um, that obviously ties to the Newport Hospital when I spot Portal. Right, um, these are the three constellations. Now, the reason there are three of them, and I knew they tied together, even though this one was a bit of a nightmare, I think it was because I was avoiding the word king. Because, well, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But, um, right, okay. But what you've got is Cassiopeia is the mother of Andromeda. Andromeda is the daughter of Cepheus. And Cepheus is the king of Ethiopia. So clearly, all the, these, these three are related. It means the code is related. Well, it does. Because when you put it all together, you can unscrabble the message that then fits with this Newport Hospital code, which ties, again, all ties together to the mothership, proving this, is, oh, like I say, beyond coincidence. Right, okay, so I've just written them down, so if anybody wants to check the code that I'm about to put up, obviously pause it now and you can just write these down and then you can check it yourself against it. Okay, right, bear with me. Okay, the unbelievable message in this is obviously when I spot portal, and this I add is actually encoded in it, so it's like a side note to basically to connect when I spot a portal, to, to the message. So it says, when I spot portal, fear not mothership armada. In other words, it ain't coming on its own. It's an armada. And I can even show you where that armada is right now. Unbelievably. Um, I'll, I'll come to that. It says, you the king of hope, open safe. What it means by this, right, what it means by the safe is the fort is in the shape of a square, effectively. And what you have, you have the key here. When you overlay, right, when you overlay the cancer constellation, and that this would be obviously the lock in the in the, on the safe. This is the lock on the safe. This is the padlock that breaks the matrix. Because when you break the padlock, it's add p lock. When you add the p to the word matrix, you break the matrix because this is all matrix written in the atlas. Or a last, it's a last message brought to you by the message. Well, the Atlas Angel is the Atlas Messenger, but the Atlas message, and I'm just passing the message on that he's showing me, um, is in the matrix. Um, what you've got then is from here, this goes off, one goes off to Swindon, one goes off to Exeter, which gives you your Canaan, Egypt, as I showed you earlier, and then you've got Yuda, that, that should be straighter than. than in fact, let's just, well, if I shorten it down, basically, what you've got, effectively, it's a, it's a bad version, it should be shorter than that, but as you can see, what you've got is this three prong, and this is opening the safe, and when you go in the safe, this is where you find, you well, you find, it's Jerusalem. This whole fort is done when he's looking down on it, not only is it, and it's also um, a compass with the north, east, south, west, which is in N-E-W-S. You just rearrange it. So when, and I'll show you the enemy compass me about. It literally, will be the news. Okay, right. Okay. So K E Y. So the key to break the mate. You need the key to break. Well, you need a key to find the the, the safe. 
to break the padlock and then open the map tricks, then you open the safe. You also then you use the key at Melon to unlock the safe, uh, unlock the lock behind in the safe. It's like this thing is like with a seal over it and everything. It's completely locked up, but I know exactly how you break this matrix. It's all symbolic. Okay, but then it says, you, you the king of hope, open safe, UID, come RGH, change code. Well, that is the code written in the, well, the, the complete Orion message. The first part is a riddle. I take angels all in a belt. That's to do with the Giza pyramids I showed you earlier. Um, I take angels all in a belt. I take Jerus Amel. A Jerus Amel. Well, when you put it together, it's Jerusalem. It says, I take Jeru uh, Jerus Amel. I be all tricks in a map. And then it, oh, it actually says, same is H. Well, when you, check, uh, when you solve the riddle, it's Jerusalem, me, and then the word Messiah. I don't know. And, and like I say, I, but seeing this makes complete sense. But like I say, I don't even like one. I, I've been avoiding trying to say that, but that, this is what it seems to be. Okay, there's a bit more to that. Okay, so you come RGHH, but the final part says, it says, you see switch far ahead. I forget the last bit, but it says, head RGH house final land well the rgh house is the house that i built this kyle went house which is right by the lock the rendezvous um which is the house that i was registered at birth in this is the rgh house it's where i was taken out from the, the world i was in the womb of the matrix then taken to the hospital where i was born into the royal arch in cancer my birthday's in cancer obviously um and cancer and the the, 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 the son of the moon sign in cancer you know that's decoded from Solomon's pillars as well as long as as well as me being the boy there um, and then the last part says you at H escape it well I'll show you what it is now because something else has been revealed to me with the word Phoenix unbelievably but just to read it back so it's just this I had so just I had as part of the, the this is within the code itself it says when I spot portal fear not mothership Armada you the king of hope open safe you ID come RGH house code, well the RGH house is right by the, is in the safe as well, it's right by there. Um, you and H escape it. Well, escape it is what, what it is, is the Phoenix event, or the event, the Nibiru event, the fiery planet that's coming, and this is why there is an evacuation. And um, right, okay, bear with me a second. Well I just <laughs> Yeah, well I should oh right, one last thing just quickly. The word sacred. Right, it's even that is encoded. These words are all encoded. These biblical words like divine is I divine. Um, sacred is cast red. And this one threw me for a little while. But I know what it is now. Right, cast red. Well, we got an evac. Uh, we're evacuating from the red dragon because that's what it's called in ancient prophecy. Is the red is literally the red dragon. Not only is it that in the place of the red dragon, where we evac from, which is the land of Wales, I think the flag of Wales is actually a prophetic flag warning us not only Lucifer, um, Lawrence Douglas Fink, and going into his bunker, but it's it's like the warning for the red dragon that what is what is due in the future. The red dragon is the final sort of cleansing of the earth the final event is he says it won't be a flood like the first time it will be by fire um and, and interestingly enough as well the sail um veil of the sail when you anagram the message today from that one alone says as noah is true as said i am id so even tells you in in that that this is you know the Anyway, right, okay, so we've got a Cassivac and the Red Dragon. So is Evac the Dragon, basically, is that that is the message. And this is why Cass ties to, um, you know, the Cass Evac and the new, new Eden and the Escape and everything else. Okay, just bear with me a second. Okay, folks, uh, like you really could not make this up, right? Canis Major and Canis Minor Stars. I haven't got the full message in this one yet. It's, I've got most of it, but I just can't seem to crack it. You're obviously holding it back for some reason. But it's given me the message that the actual stars themselves make up. Obviously, we've got a Canis Minor and a Canis Major. So the Pro Procyon Gomri, yes, there is one. I think that's, uh, it's not, oh, I don't know which way around. And the other one is Sirius, Mizraim, Weizen, Adara, and Eludra. 
Well, it's an all again, it's all an anagram coded message for me. He says, Marco, I do your Argus ship LZ, where's the Argus Navis, so that clearly, and the LZ, which I've already done. See Armada, well, I just saw that because I didn't realise until Cassiopeia came along with the mothership that there's an Armada. But it tells you even where it is. It says, I am in war zone. In other words, it's, uh, well, some must be over Ukraine, I guess, or, or over, yeah, well, yeah, over Ukraine. So the, <laughs> and if the, oh, could you, people, please tell me, is this possible that all this could connect together and come from the most incredible places? And more so, how did I encode it in three weeks? Because you don't do this in a life, you know, I shouldn't find this in a lifetime. But I know where to go because it keeps putting it in. I mean, I was still watching the last video back when, about halfway through, when Cassiopeia came into my head and the mother. And instantly I realised it was something to do with the mothership. And from there on, well, and now you see how this all just unfolds in front of me. So, well, you can see this can only be the work of the creator. And like I say, this is all prophetic because this has been written there since these, these were named in creation. So Yars named them and he's just thrown all the letters out there. But, I'm, you know, I'm convinced that you, you obviously got to know which combinations because some... Some are, are probably in their own right. Others are obviously in, you know, coded in with mixed in with other, you know, to, to obviously to make it difficult. He uses codes in a lot of them as well. So they're not easily, you can't anagram, you can't simply anagram it. Like if it says, you know, like it mentions, it'll put the H in there or the GH. But if you go into um, like an anagram program type thing on the computer, you, it won't pick up the H and the, and the G. It will, so it, it, it won't understand. So it stops, I think, AI from actually being able to decode this. That's my, my, my best guess. OK, it also... Right, OK, let's go back to... Right, you at, you at H escape it. Right, unbelievably. Now, I said there's a Phoenix event. Talk about being right in front of you. And not even see in this one. Okay, the Phoenix event. Phoenix. How simple is this? Okay, now, if you haven't seen the last video, Basically, where do we go? Right, well, firstly, the Sphinx tells, the Sphinx is coded as well because that connects to the key as I showed you. The Sphinx is also code because the, obviously the key points directly to, you can point it literally down to the Sphinx, uh, cutting through caution, Marcos H, and it's, um, well, it's probably H pins X actually. But, or, or pins HX, you can do it whichever way you want, but obviously that is coded as well. What is HX? Well, it's Fornax the Furnace. The constellation of Fornax the Furnace. And like I say, this is why you won't hold them. This is why you escape it, because it says, uh, Let's do it so you can see it is. Oh, right, I should have crossed that in because the difference is still the same. F U R N E S F. Oh, Fune, so <laughs> C E, sorry. C E, it's the same there. And then the last letter is your X. So H fear not furnace. I open HX. H pins X or pins HX, whichever way you want to do it. So that connects it to the pyramids and the Sphinx. Uh, and then H fear not furnace X. Um, obviously you're not going to fear the 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 the, the secondary planet body as well. Now let's just do it. Nibiru, the tenth tribe of the lost tribes is, it, uh, well, it, it biblically is Reuben. Uh, is that how you spell it? Yeah, Reuben. Reuben is an anagram of Nibiru. This is the Babylonian way of spelling Nibiru. Reuben is the tenth tribe. 
10 is x as well, there's Roman numerals. Well, the attributes are in Reuben, and the attribute is a, is a rogue as well, because this is a rogue planet. That's what they call it. So it's Nibiru, rogue planet X, the fiery planet, the red dragon, Herbuculus, it all decodes the same. This is what's heading to Earth, and this is what you, this is, if you don't get on that ship effectively and get evac off Earth, this is what you're going to face, and a lot of people are going to die waiting for Jesus. That's the bottom line of it. On that subject, I'll just move on to the next code. Okay, now, th this is where it gets absolutely insane. Right, okay. What is the truth of Christ's rapture and the seven-year tribulation? Now, if you're a Christian, you, 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 you'll be aware that the Antichrist will come. Um, well, they're not they, they're never sure whether it's before or after, but the Antichrist comes, basically, deceives many... Um, and uh, what is it then basically and then there's a seven year tribulation period that the, the first lot get raptured up and then the second lot they're, they're left behind type thing waiting for the second come in and the rescue <laughs> right okay what is the truth in all this well incredibly just showing that Yah is in control of all this there's a warning in this and it tells you what the, the, the antichrist itself is the great deception okay now, what you have to picture, and I know, honestly, I, I, I know seeing is believing, and it will be for me too, ultimately, because I do believe this, because it cannot be coincidence. It's just way too much, and the way this happens to me is just bizarre. But ultimately, what, right, you need to picture this. This ship, the Argus Navis, comes down. Basically, now, every, now, now it's, you know, obviously it's calling for people, well, the, even in, in the code, you know, the code going back was saying, Oh, call to ungod Mary with son. In other words, it's telling people that Jesus ain't coming, and this is your one chance. This is your, this is the real kind of rap. This is the real rapture, but there ain't no re there's no return of Jesus. So it's either agree to get on this ship and 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 understand that you're being saved by Yah, you know, and this is this is what it's all about. Um, when he returns, which is written as well encoded. Um, you're either going to get on the on the ship, or or you're going to get left behind. And and what's going to? And this is where it's bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter, as I'll show you. It makes me bitter because what's going to happen? Are people are not now. This is going to get. It says my enemies compass me about. Well, firstly, the word compass, which is the fort, is in the shape of a compass, as I showed you. North, east, south. But there's a north gate, east gate, west gate, and a south gate. And when he says that my enemies compass me about. What he's talking about is the N-E-W-S, the news, the media. These are the, going to be well, the greatest enemy of all. Because what they're going to do is build this as the Antichrist. That, that's the bottom line. And they're going to have people now believe him because they've had thousands of years and a load of lies to set up this book of part truth, book of revelations. As I'm about to show you, it's part truth as well. Um, and they're going to build this as the Antichrist and warn people that, you know, and this is why we're getting this big disclosure with UFOs and everything. You're going to see a whole lot more of this, I think. But when this thing, I mean, obviously to cover the lie up as well, when this thing arrives and it's now going to expose them for who they really are. And the lies and the, the cheating of the Vatican and the, 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 the people that rule this, the evil that rules, rules this earth. Okay, so, right, this, is, this comes with a pre-warning, I'll warn you now, because... And it's kind of came as a shock, but not really. When you when you see what, the, like I say, but but what you're seeing is Yah's works in advance, and only the Creator, the real true Creator of all these things that effectively sent me to do this job. Well, even though I don't remember any of it, like I'm only going by what the code says, but it's clearly as clear as day, really, that obviously I was. It was this is all planned. And to get people out and SOS are a remnant, as my co as code says. Okay, so what is the right? Oh, and compass as well is C map SOS. Okay, so this is the map SOS because this is the, where the temple is. This is the fort in the shape of the head. Well, looking down from heaven, he's using it as a compass and he tells you the, 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 the enemy's compass be a bait, or, or some words to that effect. And he, the main times compass is used in Psalms is unbelievable. Okay, right, okay, so what does, right, let's get down to it, and what does this say? This is absolutely 
just to show you who's in control because he knows exactly what they're going to do and even puts it in their mind when they call it these things to even leave codes in it that, uh, well, we'll tell you everything. Where are we? Let me just, I'm going to do this so we can see. P-A-R-T. T R U E. S E E N. Uh, v. C N R V. Well, that tells you that it's part true. There is going to be a rapture, but it's not going to be. There's not going to be a second one. And if you're not on that ship and you don't take heed of this, and you and so many people are going to just die because they're going to be believing. That they've been indoctrinated. This, this is where the bitter, the bitter and sweet comes in, as I'll show you. Okay, but here's the it's kind of shocking, but not shocking, given what I know I'm going to have to say to people. And note the next word, because that's important. Uh, where are we? You can see where this one's going. Part true, see the RV. The rapture is true. There is a rapture. There's, it's the rapture, or the, the it's not really, it's the rescue of the remnant, it's the saving of the remnant. Getting on the ship and going. But people are going to have an option to join as long as they're willing to follow Yah's ways, you know, and agree to do it. There's going to be some sort of way of agree, they need to agree. But obviously, if you're a Christian and you've been indoctrinated that this Antichrist figure comes along with a 300 million strong army, which is insanity because there's no army on earth that big. Um, so I can only assume this must be the heavenly. But what this is going to be, this is going to be played as, is this is the return of, 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 and they're playing this up as well, is this return of the Nephilim or the fallen angels. Well, there were only 200 fallen angels firstly, so there's, a, there, there, there's you know, there's, and I've heard no more that there's any more than 200. And they would have been dealt with already. I'm not even sure the Book of Enoch, I think a lot of this has just been... What well, the real truth of all this is in the Vatican vaults. And it's a Genesis code X. Genesis is the beginning, X code, and then you've got X at the end. It's a Genesis code X somewhere. And, you know, all the works that we know and this, the, the Bible, there's, there's still truth in it. Even the Old Testament has been adapted and changed. And, and they've really built off their... They're, Yah said he sends his own Christ and his own Messiah. I know, well, I know the Christ. This Christ, this this should be a G, and and it's Welsh, as well. I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna take this any further. Let me yeah, let me tell you. I know this is coded, and this is. I don't even want to say it, but anyway. Right, part two. See now, V, you be the lawyer's antichrist. So what they're gonna effectively do. And, I, and I'm, well, I'm prepared for it because I've got the backing of, of, of a massive code. And this is what Yaz armoured me up with so that I can just show you that, well, when they, and I know it sounds crazy. And even in my mind, I need to see this to 100% believe it. But I, 999 is probably a good number, for, you know, for the emergency because I'm 999%, 99.999% convinced this is going to happen. The only thing I need to do, as well as you, is see it. I'm logical, but I'm, but for the life of me, I cannot, cannot, and see how this could all be coincidence. If it, and if it did, on the off chance that it turned out to be coincidence, I'm going to write the greatest novel ever based on code, and then I'm going to have to create an ending where we all went off and lived happily ever after in Eden. But I, I, as I say, this code is so absolutely, ge well, it's genius. It's the work of, the, of a mind. That we can't even comprehend, and that is what Yar is, and he really exists, and I know he exists, and you know, and I've been through a lot to get to this point, and I did not expect to be saying stuff like this. I can assure you, and really, my human mind tells me this can't be right, but I cannot, for for love nor money, 
see how it can be wrong given what I've shown and how quick I find it and how it comes to me. Anyway, right, I know I need to show you something again, absolutely incredible. Bear with me. Okay, right, bit of a sweet, sweet for bitter. And he, uh, yeah, I uses that. Well, this is in Revelation. Right, the first thing it says, a light, um, right, in Revelations, that, like I say, Revelations, I don't know whether it comes from all the words or yeah, I've just overlaid it with, or put it in their heads and they've literally inverted it, well, they have known and have encoded it themselves with the, the, the code to, to break the truth. Okay, so, right, and again, I don't want people to think for one minute I'm trying to be anything in this because I, I, I the, the thing that fries my head the most about doing this and really stresses me out to be honest and you can hear me spluttering and stuttering going back in videos where I mean I'm better at it now because I got so much code to back every time I got to do it I get something or things to back it up to say it but what I'm about to show you is absolutely well on top of this but the, the but well you'll see now okay right i've actually done this the wrong way around all right let's start with this then okay right firstly right it says a lot right what in revelation it says a lion has been from the tribe of judah basically has risen and found worthy to open the book and then it says he opens the the uh the book um and no he eats the book so that's digest the atlas for one, because that's what it is. It, that's what it is referring to, is the atlas. He's digesting the atlas message. Um, and he says, it, it's sweet, uh, it's, and then his belly is bitter. Well, I'll show you what the, the, the sweet, but in his mouth is as sweet as honey. Okay, this all is all encoded in the map. Right, let's do, let's do bitter, which, uh, which we rain. No, let's do sweet as honey. Okay, let's just do this one. I'll come back to the Lion of Judah that, that as well, because, huh. right, anyway, right, sweet. So the first thing you know, you've got to do, you know, same as this bitter for sweet, sweet. The code for sweet is sugar. Sugar is sweet. As honey. Okay, honey in Welsh, because this is all to do with Wales, it really is, the Old Testament is all Welsh. Okay, so what you've got is, the code is sweet is sugar, honey is milk. Right, now here's the amazing bit, it's, Jerusalem, okay, so what he's doing, he's, he's, he's got them to basically, right, without realising it, they've just copied this from the Old Testament, I think, create their own little thing, but without realising it, put it together, you've got Jerusalem. Okay, now this is where this comes in. Okay, so you've got, you got Mel is the key, which is your LZ. You've got the lock then, which is your RV. Okay, so then he says, and then well, after he says it's bitter in his belly, he says it's sweet in his, sweet in his mouth. Uh, you know, it's sweet in his mouth. Well, the sweet bit is obviously, <laughs> right, this G roots also, is, a, is an anagram of Argus, which is the name of the ship. Mel is the landing zone. Okay, so the, so, but the bitter part is, is realising that what this connects to is the apple of Eden. The, the, the reskinned apple of Eden, which is the church. This is the whole deception of Jesus. Now, why is Cancer the constellation of Cancer? Well, number one, it's a cancerous and, a, and a, it's a Cancer that's gone into the earth, basically. This goes off in its own direction to give you the safe zone as well. But what you've got, if you follow, if you go from the lock directly, uh, the key directly through the lock, through to, it points directly to the apple. Well, this is the cancerous, and Cancer is the crab apple and then you put the apple in so the cancerous crab apple and, and crab apples are bitter so this is what the bitterness is because people will be told that the that, that, that the argus and the lz it, it, well it is sweet as honey because this is the great part of it for the people that get on the ship but the bitter part 
It's those that refuse to get on the ship because they're going to believe because of the news and the enemy surrounding round about are going to going to, going to build this as, as literally as the Antichrist. And there is, you know, and they're not going people are not going to get on the ship and they're going to stay and die unnecessarily. There are two ways out of this matrix and what is coming or this matrix and what is coming. One is to get on the ship. And, and I know it sounds awful and it does sound very anti-Christ, but you've got to remember that their Christ is a false Christ. But they've obviously created their own Christ, which is probably why they changed the letter to justify it. And basically their Christ, so which is which is nothing more than a Roman Catholic. It's, it's uh, the C-H. Uh, C, uh, C, uh, It, it's Roman, oh, it should be that way, it's Roman, Ca it's, it's Roman Catholic H. In other words, and, and that's the cross, which is the, is the, the only R, C, Roman Catholic, S-O-S, their S-O-S is underground in a bunker, while you lot, while the people and the Christians on top then face, well, it isn't going to save them, obviously, but the people on top there were going to, well, and once this, this, this thing leaves, it doesn't matter about the seven year tribulation or anything else because the world they, 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 they're going to even unto, you know under the final seconds of their life are going to think that jesus is going to come and rescue them and he isn't going to and that makes my belly bitter because i really do not it's such as you know it turns my stomach and it will be even worse i think when it happens well it will when it happens and you know these people are just going to die for some, you know, for a lie, and it is all a lie. That's why the lie is, you know, the lie is antichrist. Okay, so and the bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter. What they've changed is the bitter for, is, is the Argus. What they're doing is swapping the Argus for a crab apple, a reskinned, the, the apple of Eden reskinned. It's reskinned, but on the outside it looks like a nice apple. But and, and the the the, temp, the final temptation is to, to basically stay behind and bite from the apple and take a chance on it, and this is unfortunately where oh where this was you know well sick sick plan and and all all created by people that enslaved us and and, and basically you know Christianity has so much blood on its hands it's, it's frightening and they all say they do it in the name of God but their God is Ras the serpent the serpent that's that's who they, they worship in the serpent and they're falling for the same old thing Adam and Eve he, he told Eve that oh you they will surely not die well they sure as heck did because they got put in bodies and sent to earth and suffered death this is exactly what's going to happen they're going to go through the same fate I don't know what happens to them after I'm hoping you know obviously what goes on after but i do know that there's going to be a lot of people are going to die because they've been lied to and that's what that that's that's one what that was what made my belly bitter but obviously the sweet part the sweet as honey is the fact that i know that those that get on that ship and go to that lz and take you know and, and realize that the what i'm showing you if you take the time to look at it and go through it is absolutely unbreakable code put there by it could only be put there by the creator and I just hope, uh, you know, it's sad really, but okay. So it says the lion from the tribe of Judah is found worthy to open the book. Um, and then he, 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 he died, and then he eats the book, obviously digests the atlas and then works it all out. Okay, so how do we, right. The firstly, to know the Judah, is not Judah, this J is a Roman deception. I think this is what, I know the first part of the Canis Major, Canis Minor says a Roman created J-E. I'll come back to it once I get it properly, but th th it's not a J, and, and, and your Canaan, everything's been switched, and then you've got your Egypt, which is Cornwall, and then you've got Judah, which is Wales. So a lion from the tribe of Wales, okay? So who is... Judah's lion? Well... And like I say, I did not look for this or I don't, well, you know, I don't really care for that. I'm uh, more, more interested in getting my, my family safe on the ship, my children, and, I, and as many people as possible that, that I can you know, hopefully do when this all goes down. But, right, so what, what it says is, He 
hidden code within it is only you ideas H. Well, Marcos H is where I am now. You know, yes, Atlas, Marcos, H, East Lee's Corsa, and the place I'm at now. So, I know I always said that the, 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 the end, well, the one at the end will be, will be f f well, literally from Wales. Obviously, at the time, I didn't expect it to be me, but clearly it is. And you can see now why they're going to build this as the Antichrist, given thousands of years of false doctrine, or everything scrambled up, you know, literally... Yeah, to, when, when, he, when he divorced the Siluri, the, the you know, supposed Israelites, Israel lies, um, he, um, he basically, he, he, you know, he, he, he shut the, the well, he, shut, shut, he turned and returned, his, he says, I turned my back, but for a moment, obviously a moment in his time is a long time in our time, um, and, but, he, but he obviously comes back to save the remnant. Um, and, and what's happened is basically man has basically ruled himself, and the evil has took over, and that's why we find the situation we're in, which is coming to a head. Not just, you know, even looking in the real world, we're like, second, you know, so close to nuclear war is frightening. And it's only a matter of time before we see, I think, we see this second sun or whatever it is in the sky. But right now I'm about to show you how I've carried this. Well, what's, right, bear with me, I'll come to it now. Okay, now I'm about to show you why my name, why I would, well, but like I said, I've been carrying this message all my life and didn't even realise it. Right, one of the symbols on this, this, this which I decoded on the last one, which gives you the clan Melvin, basically, and then you've got the G and the H, and it says, Sai Luri Angel, U C C N Genesis, C L Z, or Landing Zone. Well, this Z is basically, right, you've got, you've got Melvin, which is Melvin, You've got G, which stands for the guy. You've got the H with the H man as well. And the crane, I guess, might be the king of hope in written in Cassiopeia. Right, okay, so the G stands for Gumry as well. So his Gumry is Mr. Guy. Okay, so let's go, Mr. Mr. Guy. Right, there's this, this symbol as well on this in, in on this corner, I think, or down here. And it's this thing. I thought this was a map thing, but I realised it's not, it's my initials. MJ, that, that is my initials. My name is Marco John, which is actually in Welsh is Sion as well, which I think is why Simeon is me, me Sion. Okay, uh, right, we need to make a bit more space, but as you can see, you can check that symbol is on, on that. So we've got Marco John, App Melvin, App is son of in Welsh, this is why. This is all encoded. I can show it in multiple codes. Melvin Guy. Okay. And here's where it gets absolutely bizarre. All I'm going to do is lose the mist of the title part. And I'm just going to leave this because this is why my name seems to be important. Because there's a message to you written in my name that I didn't even realise was there until now. And this is what it might well, well, what I did, what I'd like everyone to do, really. The only letter over is L, and that is why this Z is a high, I highlight it and why it's there. Because I just put that one in. Join H on map Evac Gumry L Z. You could not make this up, and uh, like I say, and there's more than this actually. There's there's multiple. I'm not. I, there's more code than that in it. It all says roughly the same thing. One of them even met, same names the Argus, but you have to use Sion instead of John. I'm not going to go through all those because I don't want to. I just want to highlight that this is this is my name. Even my name is encoded. He says I surnamed you before you were born. He named me everything. Obviously, this is all part. Just showing you this is all part of a bigger code. And there's just one last one that I want to show you before I knock this one on the head. But 
Like I say, folks, this is, I, well, like I say, I can't see, even if, well, if I, if I, I, I've questioned, you know, I always question this. It's like, is this, can this be coincidence? But you, you can see yourself. I mean, it, all this code is in three weeks. Right, when he started off, but the, the thing that opened this whole thing up, and I said it, right, the thing that opened this whole thing up was, he says, have ears to hear and eyes to see or whatever. Right, the ears to hear was when I heard, I was listening to the Old Testament, when this all started, the very thing that opened, the first sort of, break of this code that has led me to here, and I never expected to get to this, was that Mount Sinai was actually Mount Sinai. And I realised it'd be a recon beacon. Okay, or well, Brecon beacon. So Moses, when he came out of Cornwall, for, uh, you, I, I know I, this is probably saying it's nuts to people, but I'm telling you, without a doubt, this is what happened. He, Cornwall was Egypt, and all this, this bringing the Siluri out of the out of Cornwall, basically out of slavery. Anyway, without, without going into that too much, right? Let me just get to this, right? Pen, right? This is crazy. Penavan. This is the ma the main peak on the Bracken Beacon. Okay, I come into my head, translate it into English. So I got any wait whilst doing English translator. And now I know people see this as pen being head and head of the van, head of the fan. Right, and it's coded because what it actually says when you translate it, it says top of the van. Now I put van in thinking maybe that's like the peak or something. Nope, nothing comes up as van. Okay, now bear in mind that the River Seven is seen at RV. Now it's not only the RV, the rendezvous, it's also... An RV is a caravan. Okay, this is my caravan. So top of the van. Now all you do with this Phoenix is use the Phoenix. Fix it. You, you, instead of having a PH, there's a secondary code in it, and you just put it as an F. Phoenix. Fix on E. There's an anagram of fix on E. Okay, so it's another code within it, but it also opens HX. Doesn't matter which way range you do it. So if I fix on E. So, top of the van, I said it on the last video, if my van is the recon beacon, and then this comes up. Because that's all coded as part of the great map tricks of Yahweh. Said I'd create new works, and he sure did create them. So folks, like I said, this is, well, it's up to you what you want to believe. And I know people will look at the, read some of this and see it, ah, yeah, whatever, and they'll probably mock it. All I'll say is good luck to them, because I, I'm, like I say, if I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up at the end of it. But even just being from logical point of view and knowing how this all happens and how quick I get it, and just, just I just do the impossible. And it's not me, I'm not clever, it's not that I'm, you know, I'm no smarter, I'm, well, I'm of average intelligence. Probably couldn't even do a cryptic crossword if the truth be known. But when it comes to this stuff... I just know, it just downloads it, I guess, I think that's what it does, it downloads it, and then it just seems, and I understand things in an instant, it's not, you know, there's no thought process, it's, but it's just strange, I don't know, but what I'd say is get your hands up, remember, this is the Solomon Code, lower your head, put your sins on your palms, offer them up, this is surrender as well, tell it to search your heart, you know, you're willing to follow what he says, there's the key in the lock as well, because it, when you reflect it in the, the River Seven, this is why the Seal of Solomon shows it in reflection, because it's the same as the safe zone. You've got your two forts, your lock and your key, Swindon, Egypt, Yuga, Holy Head. Uh, this is Canaan, Egypt, sorry, X to Egypt, Swin and Canaan, so seek. And this is all, like I say, I could go into more, you know, you, oh, right, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But what you need to do, this is how I got this, is how I got this information, and he filled my cup with wisdom. And the wisdom went down, and I saw the reflection. This is what this all represents, this is seek. Again, like I say, you could make it up. And just to show you... So you know who Solomon is, 
Yes, this is this is go and pray. Or code C, because C locks in Solomon's. The CC is your third. This is why you've got your thirty-three, third letter of the alphabet, because CC, because one is you put the C to King Solomon's temple, and you get so locking in Mon's temple. Sorry, so locking Mons, and then you put either. Well, the, the one C is the the one C is the is the temple, uh, which would be the bottom one, and the second C is so locking in in the key. And this is the thirty-three. David ruled for thirty-three years. It's all code as well. Seven years in Hebron, or seven is G. Hebron is Brechon. It's the place of the law as well. It's all Celtic law. But this says, this is, well, let's just do it. Co, uh, co, L, 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 D O G Karadok. This is King Solomon, who was the who was the son of King David, who is Ad V O D, but it's King David, is King Karadok. Both King Karadok ruled from Kaya went. He was king of Siluria. Obviously, a lot more than they, they, all the lies of Rome and everything else. Absolute twaddle. Then he built the city of Jerusalem, which is modern day Kawent or Ventus or Urum as they've changed it to, which is also coded. Uh, but but there we go. Anyway, folks, do this so you get this because it, it's not just about knowing where the ship's going to be. You're going to need to be right with the creator as well. And the right way to do it is the same as I've done. But I mean, obviously, I saw the safe zone. Now I'm offering you that uh, to get to the safe zone. And this is the instruction and the guidance for what you need to do to get there. On that note, I'm going to finish up and just hope this video loads. And if it does and you're watching it, fantastic. And uh, yeah, blessings to you all.